Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Tao here in Rock 50 and welcome back to another Bloons TD Bells modded video. This one is a totally different mod than what we've been playing in all of our pre previous mod videos. This one has a lot of different new content to it. Yes, it's card battles, but uh, it's the first time I've been, you know, really enjoyed playing card battles in a while. So card battles has maybe like, I don't know, maybe 90, uh, 80 some cards or whatever. Some guy modded in another extra 100 cards to card battles, and some of them are just kind of ridiculous. There's some, like, you know, cool towers, some meme towers, some OP towers, and there's, like, 4-4 four, four towers as well, which will be super dope. We'll be seeing those later on, and hopefully in other videos, if uh, people care enough about this, if they're able to look past the card battles, because it's a lot of fun. So, if you guys didn't notice, we sent this Camel Zebra on round 3. That's just, like, the beginning of the ridiculousness of this. It can be insane. There's, like, a 0-0 zero, zero digit card that lets you send a single Camel Zebra starting on round 3. It's not going to do too much damage by itself, as the Zebra is only about 23 lives total. So, you need maybe... Uh, seven of them to actually, you know, kill your opponent. But, you, you know, you can know your opponent quite a bit with them. <laughs> Knocked Ice Head down to 104 lives already. But, yeah, as you can see, he's got a, uh, b a Banana Republic already. He's got a lot of shit going for himself. So, we'll kind of start talking about some of these uh, individual cards uh, as it is already. Sent out some hyper clumped yellows on round six. Those are pretty aggressive as well. Took out some lives on me. Equivalent to the loss of lives that a zebra would give. Actually, a bit more at this point. Yeah, damn, lost 26 lives. Feels bad, man. So what's also neat is that <laughs> Icep has a monkey farmer and a cobra. Neither of which are towers that you have in normal card battles. That's kind of a nice surprise to see. I don't know exactly what the cobra is doing. Is it balloon adjusting? It doesn't look like it's balloon adjusting. It doesn't look like it's doing anything, to be honest. Like, is that... Uh, it's a 1-0 cobra. I don't know. Oh, but he does have kidnap. That motherfucker taking away my... 2-3 Mortar, which is a very useful tower against, like, group balloons, but I guess we have to resort to the Juggernaut here to clean up, which is fine. So first uh, tower I want to talk about, it's not entirely a new tower, but they also changed some of the current towers, which, uh, and one of them is the Banana Republic. Yeah, that 3-0 farm. For some reason, for some freaking reason, I have no idea why, it costs 3200 I really don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know if they gave a shit about balancing. Yet another mod maker that probably just cares about content and not actual balancing. Which is a bit of a shame because uh, that, that guy is honestly broken. We just use that and bring in an insane amount of money. Like, look at this. I got three of those guys already. It's equivalent to like six uh, two zero farms. And I have, you know, 600 eco. Like, it's just insane. And that guy is in strongly good. But with the insane amount of money comes insane balloon cents. Did someone say round 13 Moab normally? And a massive Camel Rigor Ceramic Rush. You guys aren't noticing right now because the Juggernauts are just wrecking shop on it right now. Because they're boosted and the balloons are slowed down. We destroyed that pretty handily. But what the hell was that? So that was a round 13 Moab. And that was 20 fast cooldown Rigor Ceramics. I think the fast cooldown Rigor Ceramics come from the... Cobra card, if I remember correctly. So we're gonna try to rush I said back here with a uh, massive cluster of region rainbows. That doesn't do much. He has a hidden sniper somewhere. You can see those uh, rainbows being popped down to uh, reds. So that was getting destroyed. So we're gonna try rushing him back with the camo regret cards. His juggernauts are not on last actually. You want him on last on th this map. This is one map where you can actually get away with him being on last. And that comes to bite him in the ass. So we destroyed him there. So we kill him with that. Camel Regress Ceramic Rush, but his Camel Regress Ceramic Rush actually did nothing to us. So what gives, huh? Well, our <laughs> our defense, our, our loadout, we uh we had a 4-4 Ninja Monkey, which uh you guys you got to see that in action. The Bloon Jitsu that also is like flash bombs and sabotage supply lines. Yeah, the sabotage supply lines really helped uh, for actually defending the rush. You know, and just we got extra pop power from the ninja because I mean it has built-in camo detection. Can't always rely on the 2-3 mortar and decamoize everything. That guy is so good. Like, holy shit. It's only $9,000 for a 4-4 ninja, which is, uh, I think it's like a 1000 more than the 0-4 uh, card battles ninja, which is insane. 
Uh, if you were actually buy a 4-4 Ninja normal battles, it'd probably cost something like 15, 20,000. So, they, you know, they, they just have everything be super cheap. I guess that makes things kind of interesting. But it is going to promote late game eventually. Like, people are going to figure out, yeah, like, all these towers just OP and no balloon sentence can really compete with it. Even even though, like, round 13 mole, I'm sure around 13 Camarigo Ceramics. I mean, those are, you know, deadly. They're kind of terrifying. Maybe they sometimes beat people, but once, uh,. If you play this mod enough, it's pretty easy to kinda figure out how to defend them. There are some other kind of sneaky rushes too, like that massive uh, grouped pink balloon rush on round 8. You know, two rounds earlier than its normal battles uh, counterpart. That's attached to a Juggernaut card, I believe. And it's not too bad. You know, it, it looks like it was uh, making Iceps Wizard struggle, so he had to get another. And I was just doing fine with my 3-2 bomb tower. That guy does pretty freaking good. But see, it doesn't even matter how, like, strong the balloons are, because we just got so much money coming in, in from these republics. It's not honestly ridiculous. But still, it, it keeps us on our toes in the mid-game, the, uh, Camarigo Ceramic Rush, because it still gives, like, decent eco. So it's, like, something that's still half worth sending. <laughs> it, it's not, like, the greatest eco card, but, you know, it, it certainly doesn't hurt. No, it definitely doesn't hurt. So, yeah, it's going to keep me on my toes at least. And you can co uh, combo it with Kidnap. Thankfully, I was able to get my ability off in time. So the ca uh, Camry Grow Ceramics could be slowed and I could defend it easier. But holy crap, that was close. Oh, is it still close? Yeah, she still may die. Oh, we didn't catch a couple of those Recros. Nope, all right. We, we got them. We lost a few lives, but we did get them. So even without the Ninja, we could defend. We just needed the... We did need the slow ability. Then we had some 3-2 Bomb Towers and that... That, uh... Tax sprayer definitely helped out a lot too. Did I mention the tax sprayer is seven hundred fifty dollars as opposed to a thousand dollars in normal battles? Like or card battles? It's already like the most one of the most OP cards in card battles. It's such a good early game tower and it's used for like uh, defense. But also, hold on, hold the phone. Oh man, what a what a sneaky combo coming in from my side. Holy shit, dude! So coming in with a camera and ceramics and cutting off my camel supply. Thankfully, I had that ninja sitting around. Uh, was like slow down that rush <laughs> and barely defend it like geez I did not see that one coming I uh, really had to make me panic and sell all my farms there so he is way up in the farms race but I think I'm up on the eco race so it kind of balances out in one way or another he's taxing me for 1500 though tax just recently become became insanely powerful in this guard battles mode because he gets so much eco you'll see my eco just absolutely skyrocket as we get the late game too let's see how much eco I have here as yeah he is way less and yeah, see, oh, a couple more farms. So I'd say I'm a little bit ahead in this. No, but yeah, Iceb's rush was super sneaky. Like, holy crap. But hey, we're alive. Now we got our ninja permanently. We got our mortar permanently. Oh, just kidding. We don't have our ninja. He's going to rush again. One last uh, ditch of Tempest. Okay, we have that ninja saved up. Not exactly putting him in a good spot, but you know, he's defending now. So what can you do? What can you do? We are going to just continue. Kind of trying to save up money. Just. We're trying to get to our uh, hashtag epic late game. We don't have any like mid game ZOMG rushes. There's no like really mid game rushes that are worth it. Like none of the BFB cards, or none of the early ZOMG cards, or none of the fast call mob cards. Just none of them are worth it. They're all like super underpriced, it, or sorry, sorry, overpriced or under effective. It's just not worth it. But we do have a late game rush card. At least. I do. I know Iceb does uh, eventually. I don't know what exactly it is, but I got the Temple of the Monkey God. So eventually, once we get that massive cash money going, we will be able to, you know, spam 12 ZMGs over to Iceb's side, uh, and then have that also be affected by the speed and health ramping of the, you know, of the, the natural balloons rounds. That'll be kind of lit. Plus, uh, let's get into more 4 4 towers or just more of the other towers. What else do we got here? So we got Absolute Zero, which is something that isn't in normal battles, and that allows for like super OP, OP defense. Yeah, slowing down the balloons to another half speed and quarter speed in combination with the 4-4 Ninja. That's pretty strong. That'll help out your other towers quite a bit. You also can see a Techno Terror sitting there at the bottom. I don't think Techno Terror's in normal card battles, and that guy is pretty dope. That guy's also going to be key to our massive eco bur burst. Just wait for it, wait for it. Bam, plus 5,000 eco. That is just beyond ridiculous. Like, holy shit, now we have 8,500 eco on round 27. We don't even need these farms. They're just kind of sitting around. Half the bananas are expiring at this point because I could not give a fuck. It's kind of ridiculous. But we just placed down another tower that is totally new to battles in general. It has been shown in BT5 before, but, you know, that's not a special mission. That's very special. 
You don't get to see here, and that's the 4-4 Wizard, or the Wizard Lord. Cost 10,000, which I actually think is pretty balanced. The uh, Wizard's not the strongest tower, but if you have, like, Wizard Lord, you know, the Fire and the Tornado to it, yeah, there, you know, it works out pretty well. Uh, the main reason why we have it is for Temple Sacrifice, but the Phoenix ability is also pretty freaking cool. Uh, you know, I just wanted to place that guy down. Maybe we'll te do some more tests uh, with it in the future, see if it's actually worth it, because I can't tell. My defense is super overkill right now. I'm just starting to place down a bunch of stuff so I can uh, get ready for a Temple Sacrifice. Which is going to be super lit, placing out all our bombs and stuff, and just placing out all our miscellaneous. Friggin' all my, all my stuff keeps getting kidnapped. It's getting ridiculous. Stop stealing my kids, I said. I get it, your basement needs more children. This is not the time and place. He is going to start ZMG rushing me. Thankfully, we get some hashtag epic rush game in here. No more late game. But it's okay, we got a temple, which <laughs> makes defending this a joke. Holy shit, that was like maybe four ZMGs. Maybe a bit more, but we obliterated those. They made it around like... Two turns, that's it. Not that much further. Easy defense. Easy freaking peasy with our temple right there. Just gonna place him in the middle, because I assume I have doesn't have temple. So we don't have to like focus on perfect temple placement. Just gotta do what works, you know? So placing on techno terrors and stuff as well. Like I've I have twenty four thousand eco. At this point I'm just making insane cash. We are, you know, we're probably going to approach a million pretty soon eventually. So it's like, I don't, I don't even need to focus on my eco. I can just, you know, place it as a tower and you start using the temple's ZMG rush card. I don't even need that as a tower. Like, my single temple should keep me alive for another, what, 10 rounds, 20 rounds, potentially? So we're going to see Iceheb go at it. And he has actually some pretty insane stuff on his side as well. You can't see it right here. Uh, easily, but he does have a 4-4 monkey village. I guess they didn't do much with the actual artwork to make it really look like a 4-4 tower, which is a little bit disappointing. I mean, they could use, like, Wizard Lord skins for BZ5. They could have, like, just kind of combined them in some way. But the village he has actually is a 4-4 village. It's a 4-4 village card. He's got the high energy beacon for fast cooldowns. And he's got the freaking... He's, he's got like the MIB ability, which I think is actually going to be pretty useful for him. It's still a lot cheaper than the actual MIB in normal and card battles. So it's, yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. So he's using that to destroy the uh, ZMG rush with ease. I believe he has a 4 4 mortar as well. You can see that guy in the bottom left of Ice Head screen just going absolute ham. Shooting big ones, but at hypersonic speed. Well, not hypersonic, but pretty fast speed. Is that 2 4 mortar speed? It's kind of funny to just see that big guy just keep pumping him out and keep pumping him out. Yeah, he's going to need all the damage he's got and some mortar abilities because there are some blues getting pretty far, and eh? we are going to be continuously sending ZMGs at this point because we can. We got pretty much all the money in the world. Saving up for a third temple right now. And by saving up, I mean just trying to place in everything. I don't even know why I still have these farms. I don't think I even collect the bananas from the, them anymore. I think they're here to just, uh, just piss off people who really want every banana to be collected at this point. Uh... I'm not going to say trigger those with OCD because a lot of people pretend to have OCD on the internet. It's like, oh yeah, just because you collected all the bananas, it's triggering my OCD. That doesn't mean you have OCD, whatever, yada, yada, yada. I'm over it already. I don't, I don't even know why I talked about that. But um, we, uh, yeah, there's, there's just stuff. I'll sell them eventually, don't worry. But uh, we, uh, I said I'm still defending pretty well. He's got, I believe he has a 4-4 Dartling Gutter as well. I'm, no, never mind. That's just Hydro Rocket Pods. That maybe does some other things. I know he's a 4-4 sniper hidden somewhere in there. There's like a cripple web that also shoots at the uh, speed of a 2-3 sniper. And a supply drop for all the extra money. Because Iceheb is really hurting in cash. Totally. He totally doesn't have like uh, 10,000 eco or anything like that. Oh no, not at all. So round 46. There's actually like normal ZMGs coming. And I think Iceheb's going to try to couple that with some of his own ZMGs. Yes, he is. He's got some decaled ZMGs sent my way. But they're really not getting that far. Like I'm still holding up. Three temples, techno terrors, massive slows, like 25% speed. That's huge. Like, that's going to keep me alive forever. Actually, they are starting to make a little bit of progress. Got to start activating, like, Phoenix abilities. They're making it maybe halfway across the map. But I have nothing to worry about. Unlike Iceheb over here, who uh, the balloon stuff are making it super far across the map. He's still stalling everything super well, though. I'm genuinely shocked he's alive. He ain't got no temple. But he's got a lot of fighting spirit in him. He's like... Uh, it must be like the snipers and stuff keeping him alive, because it seems like the blues just permanently stalled on the screen. That 4-4 uh, four, four sniper is actually really powerful. I didn't expect it to be that good. Yeah, he's just hell off a few more mobs, and he's still just going insane. Like, the only thing I can do to continue trying to kill him is just constantly send him 
uh, temples the OMGs at this point. But, you know, why the hell not, right? Yeah, you know, I mean, it makes sense. We got 700,000 in the bank. We can send all the temp or all the ZOMGs we want. We can actually send some ridiculous cards. This, uh, this game also has some insanely ridiculous cards that you guys may want to see eventually. It's not going to show up in this video. But there's a fucking card where you can send like a thousand camo regen grouped BFBs on round 50. I shit you not. It's like a 3 3 Cobra. It is honestly ridiculous. I have not seen anything like that before. And it'd be a hell of a pain to save up for. I don't even know if it'd be worth it. Like, would it be hyper clumped at least? Like, I don't know. Uh, I would hope there's uh, some... I think there's also some equivalents where you can send maybe 100 plus CMGs for $2 million or something like that. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it is... It, it, it is just insane. I, I would probably prefer that over these space CMGs coming from the temple. But I also prefer the temple over literally any other defense ever. Yeah, I said his defense is really starting to struggle right now. He's, uh, yeah, he's got BFBs near the exit. I think he's got ZOMGs near the exit. Yeah, he does too. They're all starting to stack on top of each other because, like, they're edging. And then, like, the uh, sniper shoot the first one, which allows the past CMGs to catch up to that one, which allows them to catch up further. And ISAB is finally taken down. That was, like I said, hashtag epic late game. Once you have, once you realize all the towers are really just super OP, yeah, you're gonna get late game. But it was uh, pretty fun to test it out, pretty fun to play around with that, like, those mid-game rush cards. I'm kind of curious to see what this mod turns out to. Maybe they'll do some balancing, it would probably be appreciated. Maybe they'll add some more decent, like, mid-game rush cards. Maybe they'll add some more 4-4 towers. I want to see every single 4-4 tower in the game. That would be uh, pretty nice. Maybe DDT as well, since that's been proven to work in battles. I don't know if they'd be able to put off, though, uh, as easily in card battles. Because I know in, like, normal battles, you gotta... Uh, you gotta quit out some stuff. So, um, yeah, thanks I guess for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you enjoyed this mod. There, I don't think it's available to the public yet. I got it from David Superior, so thank you so much to David for letting me play this mod. But he said it's not publicly available yet. So, unless he changes his mind on that, you guys are gonna have to wait till you're able to play it yourselves. It's a lot of fun, a lot of OPness. But hey, I mean, that's just modding in general. Thanks, all you guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all in the future. Peace out.